Good evening. It is a new day inside the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. That's the word from the man who's headed the TBI for the last four and a half months. David Roush says following our News Channel 5 investigation, he's taken a hard look at how the state's top law enforcement agency does business. Our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams, has been investigating the investigators. Phil. Well, Vicki, over the past year, our investigations have revealed how hiring inside the TBI was marked by favoritism and how the agency's aircraft have been used for the director's convenience. But in a recent wide ranging interview, the new director said he's beginning to chart a new course in some areas. And when I arrived, we found ourselves as an agency in a moment of controversy. That mess was well documented by a Nashville television station. In this video posted on the TBI social media sites, uh, we have to prove that we're worthy of the public's trust. And in this news conference, new TBI director David Rausch promised to work to restore the image of an agency whose motto is truth, bravery, integrity. The agency was mired in a sex scandal involving the TBI's former acting director when Rausch took over. I'm not just going to say trust me because we're the TBI. I'm going to say trust me because we're going to do it the right way. Roush's approach marks a dramatic change from his predecessor, Mark Gwynn. After our investigation discovered examples of Gwynn giving preferential treatment in hiring the sons of TBI bigwigs as special agents, even though they had no experience, the former director defended the so-called legacy hires. But to turn my back on that young man that wants to live that dream of following in his father's footsteps, or anyone else out here, that wants to follow in their parents' footsteps. I'm not going to do that. In doing that, the TBI bypassed veterans who had served their country and who had actual law enforcement experience. There's going to be less of an opportunity for people to personally influence uh, rather than the way it should be, and that is the right people should be getting the opportunities. Roush says his team is continuing to revamp the TBI's hiring processes, and while applicants from TBI families will certainly be given serious consideration. I don't think just because they're a child of someone that works here that gives them any edge up on anyone else. There should be a minimal level of experience. I, I think there should be a minimal level. I think they should compete along with everybody else that's in the process. Uh, five, 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 five. Then there's the use of the TBI's $10 million Pilatus airplane, which the former director's team marked with his date of birth, 563, and his initials. Gwen sometimes used it to fly to meetings in Washington to avoid the hassles of flying commercial. It was simply I was trying to be as efficient as I could with my time. Did you look at what would be most efficient for the taxpayers? You know, I I guess when you have to look at that is, what do you think about is efficient for my time? What is my time worth? Last week I had to go up to D.C. for a meeting on hate crimes, um, and I use commercial air. And so, you know, I've got a couple more uh, meetings coming up, same thing. I'll be using commercial air to get to those. The new director created an aviation unit and put controls in place to make sure the aircraft is available for surveillance and other flights that are critical to TBI cases. Roush says he and his staff will travel the state by car unless they're facing a time crunch where that's just not feasible. Physically, it's the appropriate thing to do. And so we're, you know, we look at that and, uh, and that asset, that, that air asset has to be there for casework as our primary purpose. So. The TBI director also told me that he has revamped other critical process, processes within the agency, making the general counsel report directly to him so that he will personally be able to oversee internal investigations. And as we reported last week, he's also promising new transparency in making future internal investigations public. Of course, we'll be watching. Rory. Phil, thank you.